good morning, good morning, Dr. Gary on the road. We are dental practice brokers nationwide. So today's topic is going to be PPP money from the government is not considered part of your gross income. We'll get into what that means and so forth. Um, so we're in 25 states now. Just got back from New Mexico, as you heard on my previous uh, tapes. You've got to check out that White Sands National Monument Park. Incredible. You feel like you're on the moon. I mean, these white dune sands go for miles. There's nothing like it. And you can go sleigh riding down them. It is. It's a must-see. We saw five offices over there. Pretty exciting. Anyway, so getting back to it, uh, we have 25 states that we're in now. We have 10 employees, and we're all there to service you. We may be adding on more acquisition uh, people, development acquisition, so we can grow faster and get more states. At the same time, we hired an operations person that will help us uh, manage. So, I've been doing this for 12 years now. I was a dentist at 25, and we're enjoying every day. We're available to you Eastern Time, 7.30 a.m., 9.30 p.m., every day. We take off Christmas and Easter, that's it. So just call us if you have questions, issues, whether you're a buyer or a seller, we'll help you out. And when it comes to, uh, if you're thinking about selling to a DSO, please give us a call because we work with them to various, they pay our commission sometimes. Sometimes they can get your legal fees reimbursed at closing if you work with us. But give us a call. The information you're about to hear is for uh, entertainment purposes. It is not business or legal advice. Okay? Now, we are, uh, all the information, excuse me, we're available to you, so call us, we'll talk to you. Phone number 201-663-0935. And the email is, uh, well, the website is dentalpracticeguide.com. So try to reach out to us and we'll, we'll get some information to you. So anyway, today's topic, PPP money is not part of your gross income. Recently, we've had a few deals where the doctor thought he could include the PPP money as part of his true gross income. Well, it's not. And everybody's going to see through it. That's a discretionary income. That gets us an ad back. You can't have that. One doctor's insisting that his income was $180,000 more than his book showed. And then he said, well, I added my PPP money. I said, no, it's not part of your gross income. So, because it wasn't produced from your office, even though you were given this gift from the government. So you've got to get, you've got to understand this. This is very important. When it comes to finances, the books, the papers, you've got to be spot on because the bank is reviewing, doing due diligence on your income, your books. The buyer is doing it and the buyer's accountant is doing it. And my accountant's going to be looking over it. We're going to pick up on it. You just can't say your PPP money was part of your gross income. You just can't do that. That will be an ad back, and the seller's just going to have to understand that. I mean, that's the way it is. All right? When it comes to anything on your books, and also information about your practice, just be up front. We have an incident, sexual harassment, lawsuit, malpractice. Be up front with it. We have one nonsense malpractice lawsuit. Tell them we're at the tail end. We've settled with them. It shouldn't be a problem. But inform me, your broker, inform your uh, your attorney, the other attorney, and the bank. So when the issue comes up during due diligence, and they will find it, when it comes up uh, on due diligence, everybody's on board and they're prepared for it. No matter how bad the situation is. We had a legal situation on a big deal. The doctor didn't tell us. We didn't find out till the last minute. I mean, it was it was a problem, you know? It was a big problem. He didn't tell us until the very last minute, and now we had to scramble. Can't do that, all right? You just can't do it. Everybody's going to find out. Be up front with the negative information. Go, hey, here's the situation. 
whatever it is, we'll handle it because we're prepared for it. When the bank knows about a situation ahead of time, it's important because the bank's going to do the due diligence, the buyer's attorney's doing the due diligence, buyer's accountant doing it, we're doing it, the buyer's doing it, you got to get that checked out, okay? So get on it and away we go.